I'm Luke Cyril. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Today we're shooting some training videos and our setting here is a nice uh, large room with a, a big window and normally we have hard sun coming through there but today we have some cloud cover so we kind of lucked out in that we had a similar look throughout the day. Regardless, quite a bright background so we have a large main source here with two 1200 cob lights. One is an Aperture Lightstorm 1200D and the other is a Nanlux Evoke 1200. And they're coming through an 8x8 of half grid and then there's a Honey Crates control grid giving that some, some control as well. Then we have a backlight and that is a Prolite Orion 675 in a Fresnel with barn doors and then there's some softener on there like a 216 and that is on a 22 foot a ladder truss that is gold post between two Matthew uh, mini cranks. And then we have two lights in the background that are popping up, uh, giving our sun feel. And we have uh, an Analux Evoke 1200B in a Fresnel. And then we have uh, an Analux Evoke 900C. So just to show you what our lights are doing, our background lights, Put those at, just put them at 1% and you can kind of see them going down. So that just bloomed us there. And then uh, our key here, we'll put that at 1% as well. And so that just comes down and now that's our, our backlight, right? So we'll bring back our, uh, our key and then we'll bring back, okay. And then here's our last one. Those are our units, so really a very straightforward setup, but it, it takes a little bit to put together, and there you go. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. So an earlier iteration of lighting this setup about six months ago i had a beehive from honey crates that i wanted to try so it's a four by eight frame and we had two units in it and then eventually we had a third unit in it because it was so bright outside we needed to balance that but here we also double broke it uh, with frames of diffusion and then in the back uh, for that backlight, we ended up using a single bar of speed rail to hang the ProLite Orion 675. The next time this setup was done by other folks, they used a ladder truss. So now this third iteration, we used a ladder truss as well. Still same unit. It seems to be that the right unit for what we want. Uh, but we just did the rigging differently. And the key probably could have been done with, you know, sort of a, a single octa or dome, but I'd started with the honey crates. And so now we're doing with an eight by eight and then adding a bottomer with the eight by wag flag. So just show you some of the changes that come about as you go along doing the setup multiple times.